Hello, it's uh, Chris and Derek here from Penny's Hot Rods and Customs. Uh, soon to be the next co-host of Hot Rod Garage, since uh, apparently Tony Tony Angelo is leaving. So uh, we're next in line, I'm pretty sure, from reliable sources. That's what I've heard. But we're working on the cab corner. Uh, last time we roughly made that, which is going to go roughly there. But we have to fix all the innards. We started doing it. We put uh, basically an inner, inner brace in there, joined it up. It's not the original, like the original, but it's better. Uh, we extended the uh, rocker all the way back here and then connected it back into the basically the cab support. So then we got a, this is just floating there and it's pretty rotten. So Derek's going to make this piece. It's a little angled curved piece. Gonna make that and then put a couple more inner structures. This piece is going to go something like that. There we go, now I got the light. So that'll, there's basically a box right here and we wanna duplicate that because we have to push the cab back because it sprung forward when we cut everything, all the rust out. So, uh, for now, Derek's going to try and make that curved little angle piece using our shrinker and stretcher. And in this case, he's just using a stretcher. So, we basically made a little piece, uh, bent it 90 degrees. Very simple. And he's going to go ever so slightly. And it's, as you can see, it's getting a slight bend in it, into it. Yeah, I'm just going to do a little more to, uh, get our and we'll keep we'll do it a little more than match it up to what we have on the truck and that's going to be one of the uh, welding points for the new cab corner so that we want that and the door lines up with this piece so pretty important be, yeah All right, line it up, see what it... We screwed up. Oh, we did it backwards. Nope. No, no, we, no, we did it. Right. I thought I screwed up. All right. Yeah, just a little bit more uh, curvy, curvy on it. We're about... Um, the whole thing. Okay. Just a little bit, though. More so at the bot, more so right here, but okay. takes a little practice uh, doing it. You don't want this like more than we got three quarters of an inch there. That's about the maximum because the jaws here yeah, aren't deep. You if, have a bigger one. Yeah, if you had deeper jaws, then you can, but just leave it half inch to three quarters of an inch is probably the maximum. Okay, that's uh, workable. We just have to probably uh, cut it shorter. Okay. And I got the marker. Cut it right there for now. And this way just straight across? Yep. Exciting metal work. Ouch. <laughs> uh, see, we still haven't done much. 
much with the cab, but this has all been tack welded in. It's getting there. We might have to uh, cut out the old piece just to... And of course, this needs to be trimmed there, or trimmed there, but... Oh, we got the, the door to, to line there. Yeah, yeah, the door lines up perfectly with that, so we got that. So maybe we'll just uh, lop off the old uh, rusty crap. Okay. We'll do that. Okay, we've uh, made some progress. Um, basically, that piece that Derek made, that curved piece, that's been uh, tack welded in. Uh, then I put a brace under the back of it, this piece, and also this plate, and that sort of made, um, recreated the box that was there, uh, that goes up the pillar here. So that connected there. We did not, we have not uh, welded anything to uh, our rocker, because you can see it's still movable. That's just because so we can, we're, we got a port of power. We're gonna put it in there to push this back and then weld that all back to where it's, it's supposed to be, where the door lines up. Um, and then I w wanted to make this box there so when we do push this back, we have multiple areas to weld so it's not gonna spring back as much. So this has all been tack welded in the box and now I guess we'll set up the port of power push this back and then we can weld all along here even on the inside like inside of this side in there and then that should uh, get that back into place and then then the cab corner will eventually go in but a lot of little uh, little pieces to make that because this was all rotten the crap and it's Derek's having a hard time even welding to the, some of this stuff, even if it's just light rust, it's just horrible to weld with. So it's easier just to cut it out. So now it's just time consuming putting it back in. But we're getting there. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna we'll hook up the porter power. We'll show you uh, how that we're gonna brace it to the firewall and basically push on this pillar, close the door, see our how our gap is and then start welding. Hey, okay, we got the port of power set up. Everything's in the cab here. So we got a hydraulic cylinder here and the or the hydraulic cylinder ram. And we got a rubber foot up there and a piece of wood there to brace it against and we just want to push it and you can watch uh, if I pump. Mm, you move about a quarter of an inch. And we can see. Do a little bit more. A little more. Yeah. So that's probably a perfect gap there, except yeah. we want it to go a little bit more. We can always tap that a little bit my way. If we yeah, have to yeah. A little bit. But then also we want to pump it over pump yeah. it because when it comes back. It'll spring back. So I'll go a little bit more. Everything that getting pretty damn good. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty good gap. Yep. Yeah. Then now we just have to weld, weld, weld. Open the door, weld, weld, weld inside. You made it work at weld about five different places. Yeah. And hopefully that'll keep it. If it doesn't, we might have to put the cab corner in. We we'll put some bracing in the in the in the back here, but I think that will work. 
So we'll get uh, Derek to weld that. And uh, yeah. I haven't used that tool for about 10, 10 years. So we uh, put a couple tacks when the porter power was, well, it's still in there. Um, put a couple tacks, open the door, release the pressure. It's just, uh, it's just sitting there, there's not much pressure. Um, and then we tested the door again and it looked good. So Derek's just uh, welding it up now. Uh, a lot of area when I made create that made a lot of area where he can actually weld extra welding uh, space to make it nice and uh, strong. Should have did this with the driver's side, but yeah, we didn't didn't think it was gonna be that rusted, and we didn't want to get in like it was a lot of work. But it's actually more work doing the driver's side the way it is. This is a lot better than the driver's side for a piece that you won't see. <laughs> All this you never see, nope. unless you uh, unless you take the seed out actually <laughs> and look in the, in the cab, you will not see any of that. This. Probably do a little bit down there too. Oh, I can do that lip too. Yep, just okay. just a little bit, yeah. just so that like not enough to for the door to I hit it, but it my way or anything, uh, just a little bit at the bottom there. Yeah, extra strength everywhere. Right. Perfect. Oh. Yeah, our. Porter power is uh, leaks oil. <laughs> Perfect. Yep, that's good. What I wanted. Yeah. Christopher did a good job. Yeah. And as you can see, Derek also moving ahead and putting a little bit of Bondo here and there. On the roof. Hey, one little piece. One big major piece. And now we have to uh, cab corner it. Okay, we've... Uh, started on the uh, our homemade uh, cab corner uh, we basically I put it up there and Derek scribed it on the inside just to get this uh, line and then we trimmed that and ground it so it fits good tacked it there and there uh, we left if you can see this piece here is a little bit longer that's so he can weld it along there and we'll just grind it to the the proper height but now we can just go along and I can hold it 
in and Derek can just tack with tack 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 and we just have to bend it and twist it a little bit into place but it looks uh, quite nice just like factory mm-hmm and it's made on made over a uh, uh, stool and a couple rags and a hammer ball peen hammer and a flashing hammer Tool that you have in your own garage mm-hmm so I'll get Derek to give us more tacks while I hold it into place Ready? Yep, I'm ready. Hiding behind the camera. So my eyes don't blister. Okay. We'll push that out. Yeah, that needs to be pushed out from the inside. Uh, let's see if I can do that. Push on the wrong. Good? Okay. Right. Okay, so he's going along inch by inch, just making sure that it's somewhat flush. Trying not to get burnt by the sparks. <laughs> and you can see it curves around. We'll have to uh, trim that straightish and then build the back, which we haven't built yet. But Mighty, uh, mighty uh, professional. And I forgot to mention we did uh, take some. Uh, Good rust paint and black rust paint and spray it in there and sprayed it in all underneath there before we put that on but yeah that's uh, that's looking mighty good yeah I'm happy and the bottom here I can just get my finger in um, between the panel and here so what we'll do is just take a couple um, pie cuts hammer that well once this once it's all welded in, in place take a couple pie cuts hammer it up weld it to here seam seal that and, and the door lines right up with it, the curve too done yeah just a lot of grinding and then we gotta make that patch that hole up and then I gotta make a subfloor in that but yeah a lot of grinding a lot more tacking and then, uh, yeah, making the back, but I don't even think, yeah, we still have to grind the other side. <laughs> We're lacking on the grinding. It's, grinding's boring. Yeah. If you, if, if you want to see a grinding, a whole video on grinding, let us know, and we'll definitely accommodate you. Okay, so Derek's doing some, uh, weird rust repair it basically yeah all here this is all rotten i guess water got in there somehow and sat there and rusted he already fixed the other side the other side wasn't as bad but he's just drilling out spot welds and then he's gonna get rid of this seam here because it's rotten here and then make a piece that angle piece and it's curved because this is Curved. Very yeah. weird. Very weird.
I'll show you. Well, and he's also started to mud, uh, he ground the welds down and put some uh, good fiberglass uh, bondo on there. So that side's getting done. Don't look at this, even though I'm filming it. That's a Indian motorcycle, if you wanted to know. But that's another thing. Oh well, yeah, we got the, that done. All rough ground, rough ground. Even made uh, that little patch panel. And then I found a rot hole in there. So I'm making that. And that's Derek's uh, patch for that. Just needs a little bit of love and bondo and it's tucked in there. Get some seam sealer and it's getting rust out of this truck. So, yeah, looks getting done slowly, inch by inch, getting all the rust out. Still got the slight bit on the bottom of the doors, but that's, that's another, yeah, right there, a couple little holes there and a little bit there, but that's easy, easy. That'll be next weekend. Yeah, that'll be next weekend's job. Since we only... We've been only working on this on the weekends. So, yeah. We'll keep getting on it. Okay, Derek's just making a little the patch piece for the uh, driver's side uh, cab uh, pillar. The A pillar. And he's just stretching it to give it a little gentle curve. trim it down the size and he as you can see he painted painted the over the uh, crap in there Trim it there, and tr I don't know if you can trim. I have to trim I that, or where it I will might slide in. Yeah, some okay. I can tuck it in. Yeah, but that's gonna work. I think that's gonna be next weekend. Yep, we'll uh, finish that up next weekend. Probably even sand that, and I'm working on uh, more panels in there to cover to make a somewhat of a floor in there and we just uh, put that piece in because that was rotten we did that so got a bunch done this week lots of stupid little things too yeah and stuff like that rust repair like it sometimes it takes a while to form crap like this like to make that look nice in there, it takes a lot of trimming and stuff. So if you like this, uh, keep watching our videos. Uh, look us up on Facebook, on Instagram, and uh, yeah, comment, share, subscribe, tell your friends and all that stuff. And we'll see you possibly on Motor Trend. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one.